Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you guys a brand new 2022 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. This one's in the white knuckle and it has the black and demonic red interiors on it. And it's a very fantastic vehicle. This vehicle has a 6.2 V8 engine with a supercharger, kicks out about 717 horsepower, LED lights on it. Very nice looking front end on this vehicle. And then you guys will notice the hood is the nicest hood that I've seen on these Hellcats yet. So fantastic looking hood, nice looking scoop, couple vents on it, very cool looking. And then that wide body really sets it off. So we'll back up a little bit just to kind of get a slight angle on it, but it really sets it off. And the wide body hasn't been out very long. A lot of people say, that, you know, it's been the same car for a long time, but they have definitely made some changes over the years got some nice looking 20 inch wheels got our red Brembo brakes on it we've got our Hellcat right here you guys will notice obviously it's not a red eye otherwise the eye would be red of course and we'll back out a little bit just so we can get a complete profile of this vehicle what a great looking car we'll cruise our way around to the back guys will notice in the back we have a couple vents too down low we've got a another vent there nice looking dual exhaust nice looking spoiler on the back and you guys will notice it says charger it says SRT it's got the Hellcat right there too and I'm sure this person is very excited to be getting this vehicle they ordered it. I bet it took maybe four months to come in, right about that. And that varies right now, obviously, with everything that goes on these days. Some cars come in quicker, some cars come in a little bit slower. And I'll pop the hood. Okay, and here's what we have underneath the hood, guys. So we've got this 376 cubic inch motor. You can see supercharged Hemi badge right there. SRT right there. It says charger right there also. SRT there right there on the engine. And we'll go ahead and close it up. And let's go ahead and get in on the inside. You guys will notice it has the passive entry on it, so hand underneath the handle unlocks it, then you push this button to lock it. Then it has the blind spot monitoring on this vehicle too. It does have some really nice looking seats. These are leather seats, perforated, very comfortable, very big seats too. And it has the stitching on it. Then also on the doors, you guys will notice that it has that the red trim and then the black trim with the white stitching there as well. We have our power windows. This is our uh, mirror adjustments. Then up here we have two different settings for the memory. And let's get in. Okay. Let's take a quick look and see what we have. Great looking steering wheel. You guys will also notice that we have the um, stitching on the steering wheel as well flat bar here on the bottom and we have the paddle shifters right here pretty cool then we have this aluminum trim right back here which is pretty nice and that goes throughout the vehicle all the way pretty much across and got some nice looking gauges too on this we'll go ahead and start it up go so it has the um, analog and digital and this menu back here is controlled right here this is uh, your driver's information center right back here so we can cycle through a few things and see uh, the miles per hour the PSI and the tires and then it'll also tell us a few other things coolant temp trans temp
gives us a live, a live readout for the engine torque, engine power, air and fuel ratio, the boost pressure as well, which is pretty cool. Then it gives us a few different timers, which is very nice too. Live readout of the G's, pretty neat. Then it gives us the uh, average fuel economy, distance till empty, trip odometers, and a couple other messages too. Then we'll go back to our speedometer. Then we'll take it over here, we'll take a look. This is the 8.4 touchscreen radio. So the 8.4 touchscreen radio is pretty easy to use. You got your AM, FM, Sirius radio, and then you have your climate control system right here. And you can just make your, choose where you want the heat or air conditioning to go, to, go through right there. Then we have our controls for our heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then our vented seats. And then our apps is our launch page with everything in it. And uh, you guys will notice right here we've got a SRT dashboard. And that's where you can activate your line lock, which holds the um, front brakes and not the back. You've got your um, shift light or your shift light that you can set up too. Your performance pages. The SRT dashboard is where you can make adjustments to your transmission, paddle shifters, traction, suspension, steering. You can either do a track mode, sport mode, or custom mode, or auto, which is pretty cool. And it makes all those adjustments right there. Then you've got your phone, you can set up your phone and stuff like that too. And that, then down here, we also have those redundant controls to access the SRT mode again, uh, our launch setting where we can launch the vehicle, and then our heating and cooling system here. You guys will notice we have this same aluminum trim down here. Nice shifter, easy to pull back, easy to tell which gear we're in and out of, pretty nice. And then over here, you guys will notice that we have the SRT Hellcat badge there too, which is pretty cool. Very nice big dash. I like how they did the stitching on the dash too, which is really great. And uh, let's see here. Let's check out what we got in the back seat. Okay, so here's the back seat. Plenty of room back here. Very comfortable, big seats too. I'll get in and you guys will notice that I've got a lot of space back here I'm about five foot seven on a good day so even if I was closer to six feet I'd still have some good space back here and then these seats are heated you guys will notice there's a couple USB ports back here as well and here is the uh, here's the tag for the all-natural Laguna premium leather care guide SRT tells you what to do with that yeah, this is a fantastic vehicle. Now, one thing that's really nice about this car is it actually comes with an SRT track experience. So if you're the first owner of the vehicle, if you register within the first 12 months, you actually can go learn from a race team on how to best use your vehicle and drive it and perform it to its top peak. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have questions about these or any interest ordering one, definitely reach out to me at any time. And uh, thank you again.